example 2 on pressure at a point. First problem, a YouTube with both ends open to the atmosphere contains mercury in the lower portion. In the left leg, water stands 750 mm above the surface of the mercury. In the other leg, oil of specific gravity 0 0.8 stands 540 mm above the surface of the mercury. Compute the difference in elevation between the surfaces of the oil and water columns. So let's concentrate on the first question first. Let's draw the figure to help analyze the situation. So this is the YouTube. This is the normal level when there is no water and oil in the legs. They are at the same level. Because water is denser than oil, at the same time the column of water is longer than that of oil, so the normal level of mercury in the left leg will be depressed by that amount. Then when oil is also poured on the right leg, this will rise a little. So initially when water is only present in the left leg, it it, depress, it is depressed up to this level, but when oil is also poured on the other leg, it will rise a little. But it is still below the normal level. Then when oil is present, whatever is depressed in the left leg, that's also the rising of mercury surface in the right leg. Because the both legs should be assumed to have this, the same size or diameter unless otherwise specified in the problem. So the total vertical distance between the mercury surfaces would be denoted by H. So this is the final figure. To solve for H, we sum up pressure from one point of known pressure to the other of also known pressure, leaving only one unknown, which is H. To do that, let's sum up pressure from this point, where the pressure here is zero. We go down by 0.75 meter, then this point and that point, same level, same pressure, so we jump across, then subtract specific weight of mercury times H minus specific weight of oil times 0.54 meter equals the pressure here, which is zero. So let's do that. So beginning here, the pressure is zero. Going down is plus gamma H, so gamma of water times 0.75. And we reach this point, we jump across because the pressure, the two points have the same elevation and we have only a single homogeneous fluid, which is mercury. Then we go up, so that's minus specific weight of mercury times H. Specific weight of mercury is specific gravity of mercury, 13.6 times gamma of water, then times H. Then rise again, minus gamma of oil times H. So specific gravity of oil, 0.8 times gamma of water times 0.54. Then we now reach this point where the pressure is zero. So that's why we equate to zero. We can divide everything by gamma of water. So we simplify this into 0.75 minus 0.8 times 0.54 equals 13.6 times H leaving H as the only unknown, so we can now solve for H 0 0.02338 meter in mm, 23.38 mm. So delta from the figure is 750 minus H minus 540. 750 minus H minus 540 or minus quantity 23.38 plus 540. So delta is equal to 186.6 mm. That's the difference between the water surfaces and the oil surfaces in the legs. We proceed to the second problem. A manometer is attached to a tank containing four different fluids as shown. Here is a fluid, two oil, water, then mercury. What will be the difference in elevation of the mercury column in the manometer? So this difference is denoted by Z here. So let's find Z. Now, in the figure, you might wonder Z is equal to 1. It may not. It may be below. It may be above. Don't mind the figure. 
mine the solution. So to solve for Z, we do the same thing. We sum up pressure from the airspace where the pressure is uniform at 30 kilopascals. We go down by 3 meters, 5 minus 2, and this is oil. We go down again by 2 plus 1 to reach this point. Then jump across. These two points have the same pressure. They lie on the same elevation and same homogeneous fluid with mercury, the intervening passage. Then we go up. So minus specific weight of mercury times Z. And this point is exposed to the atmosphere, so the pressure is zero. So let's do that. Beginning here, 30 plus 0.82 times 9.81 specific weight of water times 3 meters to reach this point. 0.82, 9.81 times 3. That's the equation. We go down by another 3, 2 plus 1. And that is water, so plus 9.81 times 3. Jump across, the equation is unchanged. Then go up, this is mercury, minus 13.6 times specific weight of water, 9.81 times Z. Then equals pressure here with 0. Simplifying all these constants, let's post this to the right. 83.5626 equals 133.416Z. From here, we can now solve for Z. Z is 0.6263 meter. Then what is the pressure head in meters of benzene, specific gravity 0.877, at elevation 0? So it is here. So we find the pressure here as beginning above again 30 so hb benzene is pressure at elevation zero divided by gamma of ben benzene specific weight of benzene is specific gravity times specific weight of water 9.81 so to solve for po sum up pressure from here 30 plus 0.82 times 9.81 times 3 then plus 9.81 times 2 only to reach elevation 0. Then equals pressure at elevation 0. So the pressure at elevation 0 is equal to 73.7526 kilopascals. Substitute here, height of benzene is 73.7526 divided by 0.77 times specific weight of water. So the height of benzene is 8.573 meters. So this is the pressure head in meters of benzene at elevation zero. That's the equivalent pressure. In other words, the pressure at elevation zero is 0.877 times 9.81 times 8.573.